Second, three times. Frontside's the largest civilian firearms training facility in the U.S. We've been operating for 17 years. Uh, we started out with 10 students at a rented facility in California at a two-day handgun class. And we've built Frontside over the years. We now have more than 125,000 members. They come from all 50 states, 10 or 12 foreign countries, and they come here and train on our 550-acre world-class facility uh, just outside of Las Vegas. Let's talk a little bit about the classes that are offered here at Frontside. Like no other, it's not just a shooting range. It's not. Uh, students who come here all have to pass the Department of Justice background check, so we do screening. Uh, there's a wide variety of students. They're from high school to seniors, uh, ladies and handicap, and all kinds of varieties of people are welcome, and we have the facilities to be able to take students who are experienced shooters or novice shooters and increase their skill level. You have you have classes for students as well. A little bit about uh, well, they can take uh, the rappelling, the roping classes, but they also can learn about gun safety and also exploring kind of. Yeah, we have a wide variety of classes in addition to handgun, shotgun, and rifle classes at the beginning, intermediate, and advanced levels. Uh, we do rope and rappel. Uh, we have classes in martial arts. Uh, we have uh, youth and safety classes where we have. Uh, younger children who can come out and learn the basics of field craft skills. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the depth of our classes ranges from, from the, the novice to the most experienced. One of the things that is interesting that you guys have is uh, criminal law, civil law, more ethical decisions that a person might come across when using a weapon. We have a, a great series of lectures that accompany the courses. Uh, we talk about the color code of mental awareness so that you can become more aware of what's around you, uh, assess a risk at a distance where you have many more choices than if someone were close by and risk uh, a risk to you. We also have classes, uh, lectures in our classes that discuss the moral and the ethical aspects in the use of deadly force. And that's important because it's a decision process that will be pivotal and could change your life and it's empowering to understand what your options are and what you're risking if you elect those options. Is this typical for a training facility to offer those types of classes? It is not. Uh, most training facilities uh, allow you the ability to learn the mechanics of pressing the trigger and sight alignment and sight picture and we do all of that. But we're adding to that the ability for our students to think and understand the risks that are involved in the use of deadly force and to make their own decisions on where that line might be in order to use that force.